Hey, welcome back, and thank you again for joining me here at Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. Tonight, I'm going with another one of one of my f favorite, should I say, breweries. Dun, 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 uh, three Floyds, man. This one, bam. Ride the Tiger. Man, I, I love their artwork on these bottles, man. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. Dun, 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 dun. Man, that Tiger looks awesome. I, I just, I love the bottle, man. Good thing I keep all these. Now, this one, bam. I don't know if you can see that. Double Rye India Pale Ale. Now, it's a Double Rye IPA. Um, I <laughs> I, I don't like that they don't put a bottling date on anywhere on this bottle. I see not a, not a damn thing. Um, and honestly, to be honest with you, this time around, I don't even see um, an ABV or an IBU on this label anywhere. And... Unfortunately, I won't be able to put anything in the little comment box below um, or descriptions about the brewery notes because this one is not even, I don't see it up on their website underneath their beer listings. Um, but enough about that. Let's go ahead and crack this open and get into it. All right, let's go. I'm going to use just my regular plank glass for this one. And... When it comes to said brews, my key and my quarter, because I do like to save these lids. Right up off of there. Oh, oh, there it is. You can see a little bit of a smoke trail coming off of that one. Hmm. Let's go ahead and dip up in here. There we go. Go ahead and leave it at that. Oh, look, cascading upwards. Now, as for an appearance, I don't want to say that it is um, like a sunrise orange, sunset orange, um, like a light, very light copper color. Um, I do want to go ahead and note off right off the bat that this is unfiltered. Um, see if you can't see any of the junk in the trunk floating around. Um, see if I can't get it. It's better right here at the bottom. Let's see if we can get it to focus in here. Uh, focus in on the bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles. Mm, nope. It's not going to focus in there. But... I can see a lot of stuff just floating around right in through here. Um, hold it up to the light. Yeah, you can see lots of stuff. Um, off white head. Uh, I don't want to call it a brilliant white head, but it is a tad bit off white. Um, I wonder if this is like wet hopped because that is a lot of junk inside of this brew. Um, hey, there's just floaties everywhere. Uh, starting to pile up at the bottom of the glass now. Carbonation. Um, I really don't see none. I see bubbles down at the bottom. Yeah, they're slowly floating up. Maybe the sides of the glass right here. Um, off to the side over here. I see very little in between, but like I said, this has got a lot of junk in it, so um, I'm imagining that it's a little bit thicker. Uh, let's go ahead and get a nose on it. <sighs> Good aroma. Um, as for IPAs, you're getting your, your traditional like grapefruit, pine, um, citrus, um, like a, a like a light bodied 
um, biscuity note, just a very floral IPA. Let's go ahead and get a taste on this. Prost. There it is. I was waiting for it because it started off just like a, a, a double IPA would. It gives you that big, big hop bite to the front of your tongue. Kind of numbs it up a little bit. And then as it goes back, the carbonation kind of washes over your tongue um, and gets it ready, in my opinion, for that uh, the rye, you know, burst. Um, it's giving you like that big, bold, black pepper note. I mean, and it, it's filling your mouth. Um, this is a big black pepper note to it. Um, I want to say that first off, you're, you're definitely getting the, the pine, the um, grapefruit, the very acidic um, uh, tropical fruit notes. Um, and then, then just like right in front of your mouth, you get that smack of a big, like you're chewing on a, a black pepper grain like a black pepper seed um, before it's ground up um, and then it just slowly goes back over the back of your mouth um, very very nice very interesting um, I just recently reviewed another um, rye beer but this one takes it up a notch it, it not only does it in a, in a similar sense lighter in color and in body um, well I wouldn't say as in body a little bit more on the body. I mean, you're getting like a light to medium mouthfeel on this. Um, but there's more, I, I don't know if you want to call them adjuncts inside there. Um, or what you want to call it. And it's just filled with some kind of shit. I don't know. Um, you can just see them all floating around in there. I think it's probably pieces of hops. Uh, and that's what first thing that's coming to my mind with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, sure, if you guys can find this, it's very limited, um, especially with their distributing. But if you can get a hold of this beer, um, yeah, sure, pick it up, try it. It's really, really good. Um, but if you can't, um, sorry, uh, I don't know what to say. Their distribution sucks. Um, they're not a very big brewery yet. And... Um, Hopefully someday everybody around uh, this great nation will go ahead and get a chance to try the wondrous beers that are coming from Three Floyds Brewery. Um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and relax and uh, finish this one off. This is a very good one. Until um, next time, pros, cheers. Please rate, subscribe, review. Let me know, man. Doses.